Hello, everyone. Here I am encroaching into your area again with my, with my um, plan of the morning. What I want to do, this is a journal cover that I made quite some time ago. And uh, this is all the farther I got. And then I set it off to the side, waiting for my brain to decide what I was going to do next with it because that's just how I work. This was a this was a box. I think it was a hamburger helper box. I don't remember. But I covered it with this upholstery fabric. Really nice upholstery fabric. And I love the images on the fabric. And so what I did was I um just used carpet tape to adhere the fabric to the um to the cardboard to the box and so the spine of the box was this wide so that's how wide my spine of my journal is going to be and what i decided was that i want to make removable signatures to go in here and i'm hoping four i might just do three, but I'm thinking four. Let's see. What is my what is my measurement of my oh, I'm reaching for a okay. My spine is three and a half inches. Three and a half inches is what my spine is. So what I think I want to do is I want to put, I've got this here, stretchable black elastic, stretchable elastic. Of course, elastic is stretchable. Oh, good grief, Elizabeth. I've got these here beads, which are wooden beads that are, I like the looks of these beads. They look like they'll go just beautiful. And I have got grommets. I'm going to use grommets or eyelets, whatever you call them, in your neck of the woods. And um, I'm going to use grommets. And so shall I do four or shall I do three? Since it's three and a half inches, I could go... If I do three, then I can have my signatures a little heavier. And so, oh, after I didn't say, after I glued this, um, the fabric to the cardboard box, then I went around and top stitched all the way around with the sewing machine just to give it that little extra oomph. Now I, I need to get me just my um i need to get oh you know what i got these fabric mark these are fabric markers um artesia fabric markers i just love these i love these of course you can use them on anything but you can use them on fabric so i'm going to get me a light colored one here and the lightest color i have is white which absence absence of color okay now let's see and so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to mark off three, I'm going to go to the center here, and I'm going to mark off, well, this isn't white, it's gray. Oh, heck with it, it's still white. Okay, and I'm going to go each inch, let's see, I'm going to center that two inch mark right there in the center as center as I know how to center. Okay, and I'm going to put it, mark that with this. Well, Elizabeth, that's not working. How come it's not showing up? Wait a minute. I got to get something that's a little. Now, where did that lid go? Oh, good night, noise. Oh, it's down there in the floor. That means I have to bend. <clears throat> Okay, I got it. Okay, let me see. 
I'm going to get a brighter color. That's going to show up on here. Like um, hot pink. That'll show up. Okay, so now let me get back in here where I was. And I'm going to put that, I'm going to mark my two inch, my two inch, my two inch, just a second. I'm one-handedly taking the lid off of my pen. Okay, two inch right there in the middle. Well, it's not two inches, actually. It's, um, okay, see, there, it's because I just centered the two inch mark in the middle. And then I'm going to do the same thing down here. I have to do it this way, otherwise I can't tell where the middle is. And then I'm going to do the same way right here. And I'm going to just make my little mark right there. So I'll know where to punch my hole. Okay, so that's going to be the center hole. And then I'm going to go an inch from the center hole to an inch from the center hole out this way and then a center hole an inch out this way okay now and then I'm going to do the same way down on this end I'll go an inch from that center spot and then on um, this way, so I got three spots on each on each end, and hopefully I have them close enough. All right, now, so yep, that looks close. Now I'm going to take my hole punching apparatus. My hole punching apparatus. My hole punching, I already said that, apparatus, wait a minute, I got to stand up, I got to stand up to look behind me, I can't turn, oh my gosh, do I need to just, what I, oh, I put it up here, I put it up here where it belongs, <laughs> oh gosh, jeez, I need to look where it belongs, okay, and I'm going to punch I'm going to punch my hole where I put the mark. Okay. Please fit in here. Okay, it's fitting. It's fitting. And then I'm going to... There. I got one hole. <sighs> Boy, I make such a big job of such a little nothing. Just a little nothing, and I make a big job out of it. Just when I'm getting a paper clip. I'm getting a paper clip out of this paper clip thing. If I can get my finger in it. Okay. There we go. What? Why do I got everything hung up on my paper clip? Okay, there. Now, I'm going, because I have to get that piece out of that hole. Because it wants to just jab in there, but I got to get it out of there. So that I can, um, no thank you. So now, okay, so I got that hole. And then I'm going to punch this one. Okay. That's two holes. And then get the thing out of my apparatus. And then, I like that word, apparatus. Makes me sound real intelligent. I got to sound intelligent. And um, then I got the third hole. Oh, boy. Where has all my power gone? Yeah, I used to have a lot of power between on, on these muscles, but my power has left me. My only superpower I have left. Well, I don't know if I have any superpowers. Oh, yeah, naps. Naps are my, and eating. Naps and eating is my superpowers. <coughs> oh, gross, Papa. <coughs> gross. Yeah, it's got phlegm. 
sound of filet in my grabber here. Well, never mind. Um, okay, so I'm getting these three holes punched. I, I bet you're glad you tuned in to see this. Hole punching. Okay, now. Darn, I just remembered that I forgot something. Um, now, now I'm going to... I got my holes punched. You can't really see them yet. But boy, you wait till the magic happens. I'm going to get my great big honking um, grommet sticker in her. It's a grommet sticker in her. That's what it is. So, let me get rid of this bag. It's in my way. Let's throw that in the garbage. Okay. And then I'm going to put the grommet. This is a pretty good apparatus. If you use, if you do like grommets a lot, because you just, um, you have to use them a lot to be able to go buy one of these things because they will cost too much money. So it's better to steal them from your husband's shed and um, cheaper that way if he has one. Because then you can put these grommets that actually have a washer on them. So see the grommet and then the washer. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put, okay, usually with my luck, these holes are just a little bit too small. So then I stick something in there so I can grind it up a little bit bigger. And then I um, put that hole over the grommet. Okay, now, where'd that wash? Oh, good grief, Elizabeth. You know what I could do, actually, is shove this in here first. That would be better. Shove that, oh, that's much better. If I shove that in the hole first. And then if I have an eraser from a pencil, then I can push that on there. See, I don't know everything. I have to learn as I go. Because I'm not a really, see, I'm constantly learning stuff. I have been learning stuff for 70, almost 71 years. I've been learning stuff. There. Now I have, that's easier to do that. See, now I've got the grommet shoved through. Now I can put it on the, on the apparatus. Where is it? Oh, there. Put it on the apparatus. Isn't that a cool word, apparatus? There we go. And then, now, <laughs> Elizabeth, just get another one. Now I'll get the washer thing. And I'm going to put the washer thing on top of where that hole is. I know you can't see it, but I have to do it this way. It's secret. It's top secret. FBI only. CIA and the FBI, all of them know the secret, but, and me. Okay, there you go like that, see? And there, there I have the grommet on there, and it is on there for life. Life. It's a lifetime guarantee. Okay, let me put this over here. Now I'm going to get me another one. See, you're going to watch me do this five more times. So if you need to go and take a break, if you need to go and wash the dog or feed the elephants, then you go do that. But for right now, I'm going to be doing five more of these grommets. Oh, that one went in there nice and beautiful. Okay, so then I'll just put that right there on that grommet. You know, I think I will, just in case somebody's so interested in this grommet machine, I might go ahead and put it on my favorite things, but on, on my on my favorite things in my Amazon affiliate link just in case somebody is goofy enough to want to buy one of these. But if you do do a lot of grommets, a lot of eyelets, and if you get aggravated with the crocodile like I do, 
I mean, the crocodile is good. Don't get me wrong there. Ooh, ooh. Then, there we go. So, see, I got two. No, I don't. This one didn't get all smashed. This one didn't get smashed correctly. So, I have to put that back on there, right there. Get that right there. Put that back on that little stob thing. And then go again, like this. Push. Push. Okay. Now, is it up? why isn't it on there? I wonder if I have that too thick. Maybe that's too thick. Do you know what you do when it's too thick? Hang on for a minute. I'm going to get my pliers. Just a minute. Hang on. I'm going to get my pliers. I'm getting them. I'm all right where they are. I'm getting them. I'm getting them still. I'm still getting them. Okay. I'm getting them. I'm almost got them. Almost. Okay. There it is. Okay. All right. Now, my hamster's in here laughing at me. She should be ashamed. Okay. I'm going to, um, I am going to, wait a minute. Pull that grommet back up. Oh, you know what? I think I got to start with a new one. That's the problem because this one already smashed some. That's okay. I got lots. I got lots of them. I got lots. I'm pulling this grommet out of here. Just a minute. I think I am anyway. Actually, it doesn't even need a back on it because it's stuck in there for life. Good grief. There, I got it out. Whew. That was a job and a half. Okay, so now I'm going to take my pliers and I'm going to smash this down a little bit to squash the cardboard and stuff. Just to just to squash it a little bit so that I got less mileage to go through. Okay, whew, that was rough. That was rough. I told you this was going to be exciting. Wait a minute. Oh, now I have to go and see, this is why I tell you, I'm. this is not a tutorial. This is just watch me screw this up. Oh, good grief. Why is my daughter calming? Just a minute, let's see. Let me check. Hello? Making a video. Yes. Okay, is it an emergency? Oh, well, right now I'm in the middle of a video, so. Okay, thank you. Love you. Bye-bye. Okay, Crystal wants to borrow my printer and my computer. Okay, so Crystal will just have to wait her turn. She just has to wait her turn, what she's going to have to do. And um, so, so I am going to put this on here. There, now we're going to try this again and see. I, I'm on a, um, now if I wasn't on camera, if I wasn't on national TV here, this would be going really nice and straight. You know what I should have on is my electric glasses. And, um, if I did have on my electric glasses, the, the, um, light would be showing right on. Okay, now. Now, let's see how we're doing. Oh, now. There it is. Off. Now, I wonder if I don't have to have that washer on there. Because that is tight on there. This might be too thick for the washer, really. Because it is thick. And so, and you can't, and like when I tried to get to another one, it was hard to get out. So I think it doesn't need the washer. I'm giving up on the washer part. I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to put on just the grommet without the washer. So you go away from me, washer. Because otherwise we're going to be here from now until doomsday. 
And we don't want to be here from now until doomsday. So I am going to just put, remount my hole a little bit bigger. See, because I got the cardboard and I have, oh, you know what? This is corrugated cardboard under here. It's not a thin box. So I've got pretty much of a heavy, heavy thing that this is going through. Because I remember now, this is a is a corrugated box that I used, and I thought it was a cool size. Okay, so now, oh, Elizabeth, why are we having so much trouble? There, now, Elizabeth, oh yeah, that is definitely a corrugated cardboard. Let me trim off this. Okay, now. Now I'm going to just mash that in there. Come on, go in that hole. Do I need to just stop this whole video? Okay. Okay, now it's in there. And I'm just going Oh, that's a lot better. There. And so then I've got my eyelet or my grommet in there. And um and it's in there. It doesn't need the washer. In fact, it's um, it's it's mashed in there just fine. And so I got those three in there after. Uh, I didn't even have to curse. I didn't even have to curse. Now, I'm going to put these other three in here. And they're going to go in there slick as goose doo-doo. Yes, they're going to go in there slick as goose doo doo. Um, you ever, you ever experienced goose doo doo? That stuff's slick. Okay, so now I'm going to, yeah, I think I need to just turn this computer, this video off. I just need to turn this video off because here I thought this would be, make such good content. I thought it would make good content, but just as long as people know that I do not give instructions, I just say, watch me do this. Watch me screw this one up. Mm -hmm. Okay, wait a minute. Get on there. Get on that thing. Gee, mini Christmas. Get on the little boohoo thing. Why is it not getting... Oh, good grief. Now, here I thought everything was going to go so smooth. So much for the slick as goose doo doo. Okay, now. Because see the hole that that thing punches is just a little bit smaller than the um than these grommets. And so I have to I have to go in here and remount the hole. Boy, if I, if I have a bead reamer somewhere, that probably would work. Oh, you know what I probably need to have? I'd have to go out into my husband's shed, though, to get it. Oh, there, that one in there. Um, And he's got those round files, you know, round files, because I've stolen them before, or borrowed them, I mean, just borrowed. There, now, that one went in nicely. And see, that's what, the hole is just too small. And um, I have to enlarge it, enlarge the hole. Now, when when you use a, um, like those little handheld office hole punches, they're the perfect size, but I can't get it through this much material, this much fabric and stuff. And so, um, but... When I use this machine on um, and the handheld little hole punch, the little dollar ones that you can buy, maybe they're more than a dollar, I don't know. But then this, then they're the perfect size because they cut a little bit of a bigger hole than the crocodile. Okay, now, oh, so how long did that take me? 24 minutes just to get them grommets in there. Okay, now let me get rid of this machine because I have got my holes punched. Okay, so now, whew, that was rough. So now I got my holes and my 
promise in my journal. So now I'm going to take, and I'm going to need to have about, let me see how much of this. I'm going to need to have this twice. One, two. So I'm going to cut me three. I'll cut them a little long, just a little long, because I can always chop off what I don't don't need. And so then I'm going to go with three of these strips, because I got three, because I'm going to be able to put three. Um, and because because of the color of the color of the backs and of the of the journal, I'm going to I have a lot of of packing paper. You know, the brown packing paper. A lot of the pages are going to be that brown packing paper. And so, well, actually, maybe what I'll do is I might make three different sections. Maybe I will do one sec, since I'm going to have three, um, three signatures in here. Maybe I'll do one of them with the brown packing paper. One of them with um, cardstock, and one of them maybe with writing paper. I don't know. I could do. Well, geez, is this a little, why am I not having very good luck today? My box wants to close. What is going on? Don't close box. Say open. Thank you. There. I have to give it some help. Give it some help to stay open. Now I'm just going to string these wooden beads. I shouldn't have any trouble with this. But knowing me, I might have trouble. So, but I'm going to string these wooden beads on this stretchy elastic. You wouldn't want elastic that doesn't stretch. See, there's where I need the bead reamer in that one. And um, there, that went in good. And so, and I am going to get enough beads that it will be the same length. See, I'll tell you what I'm doing. So if you don't want to watch the whole thing you don't have to you can go do your laundry and go rake the lawn whatever it is darn it I really need a bead reamer I wonder where I put my bead reamer gosh Elizabeth why are we having you know what this is nuts if you guys are still watching this bless you oh you know what no, I'm not going to get up again and go look for something. What do you mean? I was going to go and get a pointy, them point, oh, I got that one in. I was just going to go get them needle nose pliers and use the needle nose on these, but I don't need something that I can read these holes out with. So some of them, I think when they, um, because they're like varnished, and I think once they go put the varnish on them, that then some of the varnish gets inside the hole and makes your hole not good. Makes your hole not good. And if you have a not good hole, then things are not good. That's all I have to say about that. And so... Good thing I cut these a little long because, see, then after a while, putting these beads on there, then they, um, it frays the end. Okay, see, so now I've got this much. These, men, you know, I could make an abacus. You know what abacus is? Wait a minute. I want to get a couple of these other beads I have in here, which I don't have many of them and put those in with these. Not that one, Elizabeth Marie. Got a couple. Oh, you know what? I had some. Oh, never mind. Oh, never mind. I gave a lot of my beads to my daughter. 
but I didn't give her my favorite ones. I told her, I said, there, you got all of them. I didn't give her the, my favorites. So every once in a while, I'll stick one of these square ones on there just to give it some interest. I hear other people saying that, that they give stuff interest. And, um, okay, this, okay, thank you. Those won't work. He brought me something that won't work. But I won't tell him it won't work. He went in the other room so I can talk about him when he's in the other room. And um, I won't tell him that it won't work, but those won't fit the hole. But that was nice of him to go get me something to use. And um, but he brought me these big old honking things that won't even fit in the hole, so that won't work. Okay. Okay, so now I'm still putting putting um, beads on the very first one. You could be here a while. If you're still watching, then bless you. Because you're going to be here a while. And, um, and I'm just going to keep beading these. Because I want to get enough of these beads... Yeah on on I keep hearing dings I wonder if that's my group because we were chatting in the group about if for you all that don't haven't been aware for three months now we have been doing on Mary Altair's at her direction we have been doing a live stream hop once a month and the first month was all, I don't remember, the second month was all on organization. And this past month was all our favorite supplies. And so then each person in the hop has done a different, um, a different something. And so this morning on the, the, on the group chat there for the, hoppers for all the hoppers we were just talking about different ideas for the theme for each month and so and everybody comes up with such awesome ideas and so then <laughs> we make Mary have to pick Mary has to pick what which one we're going to do poor girl because so many awesome ideas you know come up with the ladies just throwing out ideas of of what to do but I have loved the hops now actually I did the first one and the third one the second one I didn't get to work on that one although I had it all planned but then at the last minute I had to drop out because the family the family came first and so something came up and so I had to drop out but I which I need to do a video still on what I had planned to do on the hop because it was an organization folder using um, a little uh, folder using CD pockets, and I want to I want to show that, uh, which probably everybody knows how to do that already. But I always pretend that I invented the wheel, so people don't know that I didn't really invent the wheel. I re reinvented the wheel. Maybe, maybe I reinvented the wheel. So somebody has to reinvent the wheel. But, um, chuckle about that one again. It's getting a little frayed. I'm afraid it's getting a little frayed. But yeah, so I hear the dinging. So I'll have to catch up and see what people have suggested. Yeah, see if these ones will fit in there. I've got Oh, this one fits. Yeah. I've got 30 or 40 sets of needle sticks here in this house on my bench. And I've got at least five or six that could fit in them. I know. I probably stole them. I probably stole them. I'm leaving this one out so I can just measure 
and get the next one the same length. But I don't want to get the, the little odd shaped ones in the same place. I want them to be staggered on all three. So I will be done with this before Christmas. Don't you worry about that way. I'll be done with this before Christmas. And then I will make my signatures. I actually, of all stupid things, is I ordered a new um, paper cutter. And it should be here any time, which I shouldn't have ordered it because I already have a paper cutter. But I'm going to find somebody who needs a paper cutter and um, calm them into taking this other one off my hands and so that I'm not a hoarder because I've been watching them hoarder shows. <laughs> and, and I got to make sure that I don't end up as a national star on a hoarder show. So once I get my new one, I was thinking about just sending it right back, but I really do want it do really want it and so and so if I can maybe I could even sell the one I have somebody might want it it's a Fiskars and it's and it's good 12 by 12 I mean it cuts 12 paper and it's nice but I just wanted this other one because I am a spoiled brat and so since I'm a spoiled brat and I get everything I want then but the thing is, the one that I ordered, it wasn't my fault I ordered it. It was that Stacy Evans pink poodle girl. It was her fault because she's got this paper cutter that she calls him Carl. She named him Carl and because, because that's the name brand. And so she always gets Carl out. But she can cut, I think she said, up to 40 sheets of paper at one time. Carl will do that. So he's a good man to have around. So I said, I want one of them because it's hard to to cut and then cut and just get them all correct. For me anyway, you know. And so I ordered this other one and, um, and so who knows? Maybe it'll come today. But I'm not going to make my signatures until I get that cutter because I want to be able to cut all my signatures the same length. Like all my papers, the same length. Like when you put, like if you put five sheets of paper folded in half, eight and a half by 11, folded them in half, they're not going to be even over here on the unfolded side, but you can take them in the, that in, Carl will cut them for you. And they're all the same. And then there's happy, there's no cussing, no swearing, no foul language. And that edge is beautiful, like if you went and bought a brand new book out of Barnes and Nobles. It's amazing. So, but I, the one I have, I do have a awesome cutter. Somebody might want it. Maybe I'll put it on one of my, um, one of my single auction items, because on Saturdays I do a one auction one item auction every Saturday with my live stream and maybe I'll put that on there or maybe I'll just maybe I can do a try I don't expect much for it though because it's going to cost to ship it so and I'll probably put it in a one of those regional priority boxes them long skinny ones to ship it if anybody wants it you know so if I don't sell it maybe I can just give it to somebody just for the shipping I don't know what I'll do we'll see but if I can get five dollars plus the shipping I don't remember what it cost me I think it cost me about sixty dollars when I bought it I think it was sixty dollars I bought it from Michael's I remember buying it it's got self sharpening blade and stuff really is a good one but I don't know why I still am not sure if I might um, if I might just put return to sender when it comes and I can take it back off my credit card because I'm just not good at that. Um, 
because I put myself on a spending freeze. I said, for October, I'm not going to spend one penny. Not one penny. Well, guess what? I fell off the wagon. Completely fell off the wagon. And so... And then, when I fell off the wagon, I hit my head on the ground on the concrete, which caused further brain damage. And, um... We don't need further brain damage. But at least I have something to blame things on, is my brain damage for when I fell off the wagon and banged my head on the ground. So, anyhow, I'm... I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to, I'm almost done here. i got about six more beads to put on. Once I get these six more beads on, then, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and unicorns, I will, speaking of unicorns, i got to check my unicorn's temperature. My poor pet unicorn. It's real. It's a real. I have a real imaginary unicorn. Her name is Stella Rose. And, um, and she had the flu. I thought it was the coronavirus first, but it's just the flu. And so I got, she's in my bed sleeping. My, um, and she's real. She's not fake. She's a real, see, because you can have fake imaginary friends, or you can have real imaginary friends. Take my word for it. It's true. And, um, I think my husband is sitting over there thinking, what kind of a home can I put this woman in? Mm -hmm. uh, if you go off to the home, I'm going with you. You're going with me to the home? Me and yeah. him will both be in the same home. We're going to live in the same room. We're going to live in the same room and everything. Gosh, I could just see us in a home. Holy smokes. Okay, now I got all the beads I need now so I can put the lid on this box. Let's load them right there. So now I have three stretchy elastics and I'm going to use them. I'm going to put them in my holes that I so easily put the grommets into. And then I'm just going to pull them, pull this around here, and I'm going to stretch it a bit. And I'm going to do a square knot. Because if you do a square knot, it won't come on commodity. There we go. Now, look at that. I like that. Mm -hmm. I like it. I do. I like it a bunch. And look at how pretty it looks with my elephants and my giraffes. This was the best buy. I bought this fabric from um, a while back from Care's Auction. Man, when you go to them auctions, you can find the neatest stuff. But I saw this, and I said, oh, yeah, I need that. Actually, I covered two boxes. I got another one, a different size that I covered with this fabric, which I got to get that done, too. There. Now I got two. Look how pretty that looks. Yeah, I think three was a, the way to go. Three. Oh, I love this. I think this looks just beautiful. Now, oh boy, this is good. See there? And now just put them in there and then just go here. And I'm just going to tie this on here. And I know there's another way that you can just only have one string and you just keep going back and forth and round and round. But, um, but you don't have to do it that way. So I'll cut the ends of this. I'll cut the ends of these off of here. But um, there. Now, look at my spine. Look at this spine. And it is ready for signatures to be put in there. So I can put signatures in there. I can staple them together. Or I could stitch them together, the signatures. But they would just slide in and out of these um bands 
and I think that's beautiful. I love these. These wooden beads is just perfect to go with this fabric that I used to cover this box. Those wooden beads, I just love them. Now, if I had used, you know, acrylic or glass beads, it just would not have went as well. And usually I don't go for all that matchy stuff, but on here I wanted them to look amazing. And then I have this black stretchy stuff, and so that was perfect. That works better than either black or a um, craft color like that brown would have went. But um, but the black is perfect, or or even if you had a bright a green, which I don't know. I'm sure they make it in different colors. But what do you think? Do you give me an A plus on that, or at least a at least a B plus or a C plus? But now when I get, so I'll be able to make my signatures thicker inside here. And so when I do, though, I'll show this to you. I'm going to put probably over here, I'm probably going to put one of the um, Tim Holtz hook um, latches, you know, the little knob thing, and then the elastic to come around here and hook it as a closure. And because I don't want to get it any wider than what this, oh, because this is wide enough. And so, but it does want to spring open. And so I'll put one of those kind of latches on here and that will work perfect. That will work perfect and wonderful. Okay. And see, now because you were so kind in staying for the whole show, for the whole show, I am going to read you something. Let's see. What should I read you? Let's see what I should read you. Let me go. Um, okay. You have the power. Have patience with yourself and the situation. Live in the moment, one day at a time, not fretting about the past or worrying about the future. You have strength enough for the present, and that is all you need for now. Allow yourself the luxury of peace, and don't take on more than you have to. Learn to let go. Refuse negative thoughts. Replace them with positive ones. Look for the good things in your life and make a point to appreciate them. Believe in yourself and know that you have the power. You are ultimately the one in charge of your life and the only person in the world who can change it. No matter how much others are pulling for you or how much anyone else cares, you must do what needs to be done to make your present and future everything you want and need it to be. That is good. That was written by Barbara Cage. You have the power. And that is absolutely wonderful. That is, comes from the book, You Are Stronger Than You Know, Words of Hope and Encouragement for Someone Living with a Chronic Illness. I do. This book was a gift to me by, um, by Cindy Utter. She sent this to me a couple years ago. And I'm telling you, I have read it, and I have read it, and I have read it. So many pages in this. I've shared so many, too. But also, I did put this book. A lot have asked about it. And I so I did put it on my um, affiliate, my Amazon affiliate link, um, so that you can, if you are looking for it for yourself. There is so much wisdom in this book that this is like one of my favorite books, most favorite books ever. And like I said, Cindy Otter, did I, yeah, I even wrote her name in there so I wouldn't forget. She sent this to me. It was brand new, but then I spilled coffee on it. But it's okay. It still reads. I didn't ruin the pages. Okay, I ask God to watch over you every step you take, every move you make. And thank you for hanging out with me to watch me do the spine on my beautiful elephant journal. I love it. It's going to be an art journal. Okay. God bless everyone, each and every one of you. May he watch over you every step you take, every move you make, and I will see you on the next video. God bless.